got into boxing when I was about seven years of age with my father back in uh, the town I grew up in in Lahey, where uh, Dad used to do a lot of training when he uh, finished boxing and everything, and I used to always be watching him, bo watching him training in the sitting room and in the kitchen and on the beach. He used to go running and. I saw my father doing this and we used to sit up watching boxing in the evening times and night times and just from there on I see my father doing it and he took me to a local gym one time and it really kicked off from there. Twenty-two-year-old amateur boxer Jason Quigley is the Republic of Ireland's hottest middleweight prospect since former world champion Steve Collins, who reigned supreme during the mid-1990s. Hailing from County Donegal, Jason's first taste of the sweet science came from watching his father shadow box in the family kitchen. As he got older, he found himself increasingly drawn to the sport and was captivated by the feats of a certain Mexican legend. I wanted to be a boxer, I think, when I started watching Marco Antonio Barrera on the TV. He really inspired me inside and outside the ring. And uh, to see the levels they can get to, to see the big shows in Las Vegas, to see them lifting the world title belt, to see what it meant to them. And I got tingles, I got tears in my eyes watching these things happen. And I just knew that that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. The father-son combination has a rich history in boxing. The likes of Roy Jones, Shane Mosley and Joe Calzaghe were all coached to world titles by their fathers. Jason and his dad Connor are hoping to follow in that tradition. Connor himself took up the sport as a seven-year-old and was Irish champion by the time he was 16. Knowing what it takes to succeed in the ring, Dad has taken a methodical approach to developing Jason. The pair train at the Finn Valley Amateur Boxing Club in Donegal. I would class Jason a universal fighter. Um, and a universal fighter is a fighter that can change to any opponent. Um, whether he's a heavy-handed puncher, whether he's technically a very good boxer, uh, southpaw, orthodox, Jason can adapt to any style, you know, and in my eyes, he's a universal fighter, and a universal fighter is a fighter that's the best fighter you can get. Despite a promising amateur career, Connor never fulfilled his own potential by turning professional. He's determined that Jason remains focused on the big goal ahead and that he is able to make the leap to the pro ranks in the forthcoming years. My father is the reason I'm sitting here today, the reason I have the titles, the medals I have. Only for him, I definitely wouldn't be here today. Times I would have been down, there's times I've got beat in my career. And I came away thinking, what am I going to do next? My father was the man that was always there that says, look, this is a setback. This is a minor setback in your career. So far, though, there haven't been too many setbacks for Jason. At the 2013 European Championships in Belarus, the Irishman's first senior tournament, he claimed gold in the 75-kilogram middleweight division. A few months after that success, Jason headed to Kazakhstan for the Amateur World Championships. Despite a tough schedule, he made it through to the final against home favourite Zanibek Alim Kanunu. Jason was unbeaten in 32 fights, a streak which spanned 18 months. However, he narrowly failed in his bid to win another gold, losing by a close unanimous decision. Despite the defeat, he rose to number one in the amateur rankings. He also had the honour of becoming the first male Irish fighter to win a silver medal at the event. The experience of the World Championships was brilliant, you know, looking back on things now and even looking before the World Championships, if anybody had told me you were going to come away with a silver medal, I'd have been over the moon delighted with it. But uh, at that time, it's just, 
you'd rather go home with nothing at that time because you're so close to becoming a world champion and you just fall short, you know, it's, it's very, very hard to take. Home for Jason is Donegal's twin towns of Stranola and Bally Buffet. Around 5,000 people live in this northwestern part of the Emerald Isle. It's a close-knit community and people here are understandably proud of Jason's success on the world stage. Perhaps one person who's prouder than most is Jason's younger sister, Holly. Childhood friend Kevin Gillespie recalls how Jason excelled at many sports whilst they were growing up together. Ah, he's very chilled out. He's 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 cool. Like you know, he loves his, he loves the boys. Like loves going out and having the crack. And you know, he's chilled out. Like you know, he's he's very dedicated to what he does. Like he's he's very dedicated. And he was always active. He was uh, he was always like into sports. He done all the sports. Uh, boxing was always number one though. What he done like so he was always boxing was always the main thing like. Jason's journey in his sport is well documented on the walls of the family home and the house is bulging at the seams with the trophies and medals that he's won over the years. This is uh, my first major boxing elite senior tournament medal. Um, it was the first senior elite tournament that I entered, the European Championships. And uh, I went into the championships a bit unknown, but uh, beating the world champion in the semi-finals, the world number one, and uh, taking home gold medal. I think I really put myself on the map after winning this here gold medal at the European Championships. The silver we have beside it is uh, the World Championship silver medal. As this is the Europeans, it was my first ever senior elite tournament. And this was my second senior elite tournament, the World Championships. And going in there, I was a lot more well known than I was at the European Championships. But uh, Coming away with a silver medal was a, a brilliant achievement for me and not alone that but being the first Irish man ever to do it again was a great achievement for me. Currently number two in the amateur world rankings, Jason is on the verge of turning professional. Oscar de la Hoya's golden boy promotions are amongst those reported to be interested in signing the young Irishman. Jason has drawn widespread praise for his technical ability and movement around the ring. His father has long emphasized the need for balanced footwork, upper body movement and lightning fast hand speed. He's an absolutely superb talent and he, not only can he become a world champion, he can become a multiple world champion and he can unify divisions. He's just an outstanding athlete, you know. And our relationship in the gym is actually better than it is outside it, <laughs> you know, because it's because when we're together in the gym, the two of us just want the same, you know, we want the same thing. Believe, achieve, perform. That's the mantra that Jason lives by, and it certainly characterizes his career to date. Still only 22, Jason is yet to fully develop his physical strength and he undertakes weight sessions to help him improve his upper body strength and punching power. Attributes not necessarily required in the amateurs, but vital for success in the pro game. My ultimate dream is to become a professional world champion and that really excites me at the moment. You know, uh, just to get in there no vest, no headgear, get in there and just give it your absolute all and work your way straight to the top and to be at the likes of Floyd Mayweather's shows and to be fighting on his undercards and then topping balls in the MGM Grand, that's definitely my game. Jason Quigley. Remember the name. Hey.